This short video discusses the evolving definitions of social work through the years. There are different types of understanding of what the profession of social work really is. That's why it's important for social workers all over the world to come up with one common definition. Let's go back to when it all started, the 1950s. This was the time when the first global definition of social work was agreed upon. What was happening during that time? As you can see in this paper, the world was struggling through changes brought about by industrialization and its consequences like mechanization, rationalization, automation, and urbanization. The paper underscores the effects of these changes on human beings and their relationships. In 1957, the IFSW or the International Federation of Social Workers came up with this global definition of social work. It says that social work is a systematic way of helping individuals and groups towards better adaptation to society. The social worker will work together with clients to develop their inner resources, and he will mobilize, if necessary, outside facilities for assistance to bring about changes in the environment. Thus, social work tries to contribute towards greater harmony in society. As in other professions, social work is based on specialized knowledge certain principles and skills. I would like to highlight a few key words mentioned in this definition. It says better adaptation to society and it also mentions greater harmony in society. And the last statement actually mentions the specialized knowledge of the profession. The 1957 definition puts emphasis on adaptation to society. These days, the emphasis is not so much on helping people to better adapt, but rather on addressing personal and social issues that cause problems and what is needed to sustain solutions in people's lives. The purpose now is to enable and empower the clients to be part, to be productive part of society. The 1957 definition also mentions better harmony in society. Now, this kind of statement sorts of assumes that society is already perfect in itself not recognizing the many ills and inequality that takes place in our society. The 1957 definition also talks about specialized knowledge, which could be interpreted as an expert professional and non-expert client duality. This is not reflective of today's social work practice, which respects people as partners in development. In 2000, the International Federation of Social Workers developed a new definition of social work, and this was adopted in 2001 by the International Association of Schools of Social Work. And it reads, the social work profession promotes social change, problem solving in human relationships, and the empowerment and liberation of people to enhance well-being utilizing theories of human behavior and social systems. Social work intervenes at the points where people interact with their environments. Principles of human rights and social justice are fundamental to social work. Here, there have been an emphasis on the importance of human rights and social justice, which is a major development in the definition of social work. 
Now, there have been some criticisms on the new definition of social work. The first one is there is a perception that it has a Western bias. There is so much emphasis on individual helping process over collective action. And there was also no social work theory and indigenous knowledge in the definition. Thirdly, there's a need for inclusion of marginalized and vulnerable, which were also not mentioned in the new definition. And lastly, while there was importance given to human rights and social justice, there was no mention of barriers, inequalities, and other structural injustices which need to be challenged. In 2014, a new global definition of the social work profession was approved by the International Federation of Social Workers. And I'd like to read the latest definition, which is social work is a practice-based profession and an academic discipline that promotes social change and development, social cohesion, and the empowerment and liberation of people. Principles of social justice, human rights, collective responsibility, and respect for diversities are central to social work. Underpinned by theories of social work, social sciences, humanities, and indigenous knowledge, social work engages people and structures to address life challenges and enhance well-being. The above definition may be amplified at national and or regional level. You can see the emphasis again on social justice, human rights, and collective responsibility. The new statement also highlights social work as a practice-based profession and academic discipline. Empowerment and liberation and importance was given to indigenous knowledge, which was not in the earlier statements. In this new definition, we see that there was mention and people and structures engaging people and structures to address life challenges. Now, moving on, what are the implications of the 2014 Global Definition of Social Work? First of all, the commitments in the definition need to be cascaded and amplified at the local, national, and or regional levels. Recognizing the uniqueness of the situation of each country and how it affects social work practice. Secondly, the profession needs to consider how theory, its academic discipline, and social work interventions support commitments in the definition. And Thirdly, local and indigenous knowledge are important to reinvigorate the profession so that we will be able to address contemporary challenges of both society and individuals. So this, in summary, is the evolution of the definition of the social work profession. I hope that you find this video informative. Thank you.